What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zana Landscape. Like the title says, we've had a rough couple of days. We had some mower breakdowns, we sold the truck, and we've got to get a new trailer. So we've got a lot going on here. So sit tight and I'll fill you in on exactly what we have going on. start with the mower breakdowns yesterday it was Tuesday uh, it was just a rough day it was misting all day it was wet it was nasty it was cold and as soon as the pavement would dry up or the asphalt would dry up it would start misting and raining again so it was just a rough day all around uh, and on our last property we had a couple of issues um, we broke a grass flap cable on the walk behind which is no big deal really but it is uh, unfortunate and it does make us uh, a little bit further behind than we would like to be just a little inconvenient I guess is how I should put it um, it's it's not something that everybody has and it's not something that you have to have but for us we're used to it it was inconvenient so that was number one on the walk behind that Ferris FW 35 uh, broke that cable we probably broke five or six of those on those mowers so really just kind of something that we're used to now I guess um, and the big one we had uh, on the Z2, it was something that I've never experienced before in my six years of mowing as far as the breakdown. Um, and it wasn't really a, a breakdown, I should say, but, but something was screwed up. Uh, the PTO clutch would not shut off, so the blades were always engaged. The mower would start, everything was fine, all the safeties were working and everything, but the blades were always engaged. And what happened was the PTO itself got screwed up. Um, so quickly, once we figured out that the blades wouldn't shut off, I unplugged the PTO itself. If you've ever messed with the PTO clutch, you know that generally there's either a wire harness coming off of it that has a little plug on it, or there's just a little plug on it itself with no wires. In my case, they're on the Ferris Z2. It's just a uh, plug on top of the PTO. So I unplugged that, um, which told me or which let me know that there is no power going to the PTO and we started the mower and the PTO was still on. So it told me that it was something in the PTO itself. Um, so luckily since the blades were still on, we were able to finish our properties. And again, on the walk behind, we had the, uh, the grass flap that was screwed up. So we were able to finish our properties, which was good. Um, but loading that mower with the, uh, with the blades on into the box truck was not cool. Uh, it was, uh, was kind of sketchy to say the least, but we throttled it all the way down and luckily it didn't hit. So uh, we got lucky there, but we brought the mowers home. And first thing this morning, which today is Wednesday, first thing this morning, I uh, went to my local uh, Ferris dealer, Hartman Farm Supply. You guys have seen them in my videos. Um, but we went over there, we got the cable for the grass flap and we got our PTO clutch and luckily my PTO is under warranty. I have under warranty until November, so uh, I went and got that and luckily that was taken care of. That was a $400 part. So uh, I walked out of there with I think a $42, $43 bill or something for that cable. So not too bad. Came home, got everything put on and we were out the door, out the driveway by about 10.30. So really uh, not too terribly bad. Usually we leave here about six and Hartman doesn't open till 8, so we couldn't get started as soon as we like to. Uh, we, we did get started at 6 this morning. We got everything taken apart and we did a couple other things, but um, we couldn't get over there. We didn't get there, I think, until about 8.15, 8.20. I had to call there and make sure that they had them before I drove over there. Luckily, they did, so went over there, got those. Like I said, we were out of here by 10.30, and we went and took care of our mowing route. Um, for the day. So we are all wrapped up for our mowing for the week, which is a good thing. Uh, we got an irrigation project we're gearing up for. I don't think we're going to start that till Monday because of some rain on Friday and Sunday. So we don't want to get in the middle of that and then have to deal with a bunch of rain. So um, we're going to wait till Monday, looking clear all week next week. So stay tuned for some irrigation videos. We are going to have those pumping out. Um, it's my first time. So that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Um, next thing was we sold a truck. 
Um, the box truck, I mentioned that we had maybe found a buyer and he is actually coming tomorrow, Thursday, or it might actually be Thursday right now. I don't even know what time it is. It's late at night. I uh, just finished up, but um, he is coming tomorrow and I'm not going to ruin the surprise. It's, it's somewhat of a surprise. You guys will know tomorrow if you follow me on Instagram, but uh, he's coming tomorrow to pick that thing up. He's going to hang out for a couple of days and uh, he'll be on his way back home with the truck. So with that being said, we have to get a trailer and I don't currently have a trailer. Uh, we, we have a, we have a uh, dump trailer and we have a flatbed trailer but we use those for the skid steer and the excavator. Um, so we don't really have any trailer to go run around and mow lawns. So we are in search of a trailer. I've got a couple of leads, but uh, nothing is set in stone. So we're gonna head out tomorrow and uh, take a peek at a couple of trailers and see if we can't bring one home and try to take the racks directly out of the box truck, put them straight onto our trailer and uh, be set up and ready to mow. And we are getting an open trailer. We're not getting an enclosed trailer. We want something as cheap as possible. So I'm looking used. I'm looking for a 16, maybe 18, uh, something with the side rails, and then obviously a rear ramp. And um, we'll put our green touch racks on there, and we should be in good shape. So that's what we got going on. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, we do have a few other things going on in the meantime. Hopefully, going to be doing a grading job and digging out some stumps here in the next day or two. So. A lot going on over here, but I did want to share with you guys some exciting stuff and some uh, some big news stuff and some big step stuff. Like I had mentioned, I'm selling the box truck to uh, fund a new skid steer. Hopefully, that's that's the plan in the near future. Next uh, next couple of months, uh, we'll see how things go, but that is the plan. And with the box truck being sold, we're one step closer. So a lot of exciting stuff going on over here. But I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You guys will see a lot more of what's going on here in the next couple of days over my next few videos. So if you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.